Hey guys, this is William with another video for Play, Agricola.com's YouTube channel and twitch.tv slash play underscore Agricola. Playing an E uh, Montu mixtape collection game with Payne, Montu, and Barbarossa89. So, opening hand, Lady of the Manor, Animal Husbandry, uh, Animal Husbandry Worker, Bonehead. I think those are the cards to pay attention to. Livestock feeder is kind of a thing. Uh, given Lady of the Manor is in the game, so having eight grain and being able to breed animals early might be a thing that is good. But uh, not going to take it here. Oh. I think I'm likely just first picking Animal Husbandry Worker here. Provides four wood, right? Which is almost as much as Bonehead. And first picking it, it kind of invalidates some strategies. So, I think I like the Animal Husbandry Worker here. Start of each harvest, wood, reed, clay, stone, you get a crop of your choice. Uh, so straw man looks pretty good, given Lady of the Manor's in the game. Excavator seems fine. Uh, so there's fence delivery men. So if I think um, that I want to build stables for Lady of the Manor, then fence delivery men's good. But, uh, yeah, Officer here, eh? Probably I'm just supposed to take Officer. What did Payne first pick that he passed me Officer? I don't know. Whoa! Whoa! Animal Breeder. Mm, piano player, pile on this card. Read stone, read stone, read. Three or more food from an accumulation space, you receive the top item. Uh, so it's a read and stone action for my officer, mostly. Renovate your clay hut, you may first return one fence stable to extend your hut by clay, one clay room by free before paying the cost of the revelation, renovation. Uh, yeah, remodeler's husband seems okay. The card seems fine. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, I'm taking Animal Breeder. Now, the timing on Animal Breeder is awkward because most of the time I'm going to want to Animal Husbandry work in round five. Using Animal Breeder as well is difficult. Um, ooh, part-time builder. Pattern Maker, good. Two wood to a grain food and a bonus point. Could be a lot of wood. Uh, so Valene is great, but part-time builder is really excellent in a Lady of the Manor game. And I know that there's Excavator in the game. So hopefully that's going to encourage people to... Someone will re hopefully someone will really want to use the day labor space. That's my hope. Um, yeah, livestock feeder is a bit awkward here, but it's fine. Do we want smuggler? Probably not. Uh, here's another question. Do I want Old Crafter? Most of the time I'd actually say no. Reason being that I can't reno without Reedstone food actions anyways. The main advantage of Old Crafter is the food. In my opinion. That it's the food is nice. Uh, I actually think Winter Tutor is probably pretty good. The problem is I have Ox. Like this wants to come out in stage one. This wants to come out 
This wants to come out like not long after Animal Husbandry Worker. This wants to come out when I reno. So I think Winter Tudor. Uh... I mean, Winter Tudor could be pretty good with something like Sunday School or um, anything that lets you play, you know, multiple occupations at once. Could be pretty good. Because it's whenever. So. I think I'll just end up going with Old Crafter here. The problem with this Old Crafter is it just adds another another card to play. And this is getting getting a little bit excessive, but maybe what it means is that Husbandry Worker, Breeder come out after Crafter, Officer, Part-Time Builder. Which could be okay. I also have to be careful that the uh, Part-Time Builder doesn't mess up the animal breeder because of course um putting stables on putting depending like depending on when the stables go down they could get in the way of activating animal breeder because animal breeder only activates when you fence unused unused spaces There's like no way I play piano player, but I'm not playing the other two. Hmm. So originally I was thinking that I'm just not going to build a room. And that growing with Officer is often going to be good enough in this game, given Animal Husbandry Worker and Lady of the Manor are out there. But, gotta think about this. Yeah, um... Will I have time to play River Mill? Quite expensive. I'm thinking I probably want the BMW with Old Crafter. Do I also want to try for his dovetail joint since you know part-time builder does does help me help me to play it? Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Ooh, <laughs> that is a gift. That is a gift. Stonehouse extension is wonderful here. So now piano player might actually be useful. But yeah, getting this Stonehouse extension is a massive, massive gift. I am very, very fortunate here. And Payne passes it to me when he passed me officer as well. So that's that's probably probably questionable. I'm sure Payne's up to something. The question is just what is he up to? Um, Unwanted Goods is probably my pick here. Uh, it's, it's essentially two stone because I'm going to use it to discard for stone and then I can take read stone food once. And there's my two stone. Yep.
So I haven't really seen any plow help, so probably grabbing hand plow here. Almanac may be a bit better than normal given animal breeder. I mean, it's not bad. Usually it's not bad, but. And I think fertile soil is pretty good as well, but. Yeah. Hand plow seems good. And it's another, you know, one wood to get on the reedstone food space. Useful field tile. Yeah, that's never going to be, it's never going to be bad. So normally with animal breeder you want a cooking heart no matter what. Is there a way to make Huntsman's rifle work? I think probably not. Probably I still need a cooking hearth. Not gonna take incinerator. Uh not gonna take the port Le Havre because I might not bake at all. Might not even build an oven. So I'm looking at textile guild or wood cart. So the dovetail joints already makes the joinery free. So do I want to spend a wood for a point? Not really. I don't I don't really want wood card either though, to be honest. I mean maybe wood cart's okay in this game because I take three wood once and then I ignore wood otherwise until wood card is out. Yeah, yeah, maybe that's okay plan. I should also note, importantly, that um, the part-time builder getting the stables is not guaranteed at all. Now, getting three, getting, I would say getting three of them is guaranteed. Getting the fourth is not guaranteed. And part of the question for me is how far did Lady the Manor go? Barbarossa took Lady the Manor second. Then, you know, someone might give me the stable off of day labor. Not think it's too big of a deal. Acorn basket looks good here. Read for a bunch of food. Dutch clay pipe. Gained at least seven building resources. So take... Three wood, two wood with wood card in play. Or take three wood and read stone food. It's, it's doable. Old crafter, piano player, both presumably activate it. But acorn basket just actually seems good. So. I would guess that Old Crafter is more often good when you're trying to build more than one room at full cost, or at least for two read. More than one room at two read a piece, because most of the time I'm going to have enough read just from the fact that I need to take readstone food. So yeah, this is a hand that could be, could be quite good, but uh, I think it mostly depends on getting the right action.
simple fireplace is a relatively painless way to get the cooking hearth. The big thing about simple fireplace is that it lets me take three or four clay with a minor improvement action, which is nice. So just as long as I want the minor improvement, which I do because I want to get readstone food multiple times, that works out. Beautiful excavator already out. So pain takes three wood. I'll play part-time builder. Oh man, fence deliveryman almost got back. That's too bad. Um, there's a world where I'm supposed to two clay first action here. But three wood can lead into hand plow. And I have the unwanted goods for uh, stones, so... I think uh, three woods he fine here, and especially if sheep doesn't flip in two, the animal husbandry worker can annoy the person who does build the first fireplace. So, yeah, so I'm probably waiting on hand plow. I'll go ahead and throw out unwanted goods here. Oh, what's going on? Oh, I've got the the bug. Let's grab a stone. And then what card am I discarding? Probably a livestock feeder. I'll read stone food and then let's reload the board. Try to get rid of that offset mouse clicking issue. There we go. That's better. Yep. Yep, all good. Ooh, the ox are coming fast and furious. Hmm. I don't really need another three wood. Two clay is not great, but I don't really need another three wood. Payne played Market Crier also, I should mention. <laughs> Payne and Market Crier. <laughs> well, that's a that should be a, a Lady of the Manor category for the whole table. Most likely.
Once he's ready to drop, um, oh, what's the one? Balance Farmer for two food per round. And Pain just built one stable. Is that right? Just built one stable. Uh, okay. Oh, Sheep Flip Plate. I'm... Pain built one stable instead of market crying. I'm I'm very surprised by that. I'm very surprised by that. So hopefully I can get I should get occupation second action because four wood should go. Maybe four wood three wood goes. Four wood to Barb, three wood to Montu. Although if Barbarossa has a discounter, a read discounter, like Miser or Thatcher, that would be a pretty good play here. So that he's ready to build. Peasant. Okay. Well, no fireplace yet. No sheep yet. And the two are definitely related. to star player farm sparrows all right well at least if farm sparrows is coming out it means that uh Monty really wants two of those spaces although if he's done excavating then that might be unfortunate if he doesn't excavate anymore i would guess that he does at some point what what is pain what is pain doing three clay letting Montu get the six clay i yeah i wonder what pain is up to clay oven i guess yeah i guess I'm going to build the fireplace here. Get myself the first sheep grab. And then second move for clay. Yes, this guy. Yes, I think this card is pretty good. And especially with Lady of the Manor in the game. It gets quite good. I think that card is quite good. So Montu can take two read here and then double build in round five. Because build is not really... Ah, uh, it is threatened actually. Because Barbaros has start player unwanted goods as an option. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully that is a thing Barbarossa does. Well, I won't say no to a four wood action. Will not say no to a four wood action. Taking it 
uh, taking it away from my opponents is almost as good as taking it for myself. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right, my first stable. Hopefully, have many more to come. Wonder if we see Lady of the Manor hit the table this round. Well, she's going to start player unwanted goods. Hmm. Getting a stone or something. Getting a stone to build the well, maybe. Maybe just looking at me and saying, hey, I don't want William to start player to grow because then maybe Barbarossa lets me grow in front of him if it's a late family growth game. Maybe something like that. Uh, I want to be in a position to take Clay and Reno next round. I want to leave myself free to do that. And Payne's got fences coming in in round seven, so Payne might be interested in the sheep in seven. So maybe I'm supposed to second move, take the sheep here. First move, Auk, most likely. Uh, no. Not Auk. Oh man, Payne is absolutely fighting me for Reno. I can just you can just tell, right? You just tell based on the moves that he's doing. Um Take the sheep here. Cause then I'll second move play um Old Crafter. For some more food. Since sheep came so late, the old crafter food should be pretty nice. But yeah, it looks like I might be fighting with Pain for Reno. Because, I mean, this happened the last time I played with Pain 2 a couple days ago. Where he just, like, didn't build, didn't grow for n no real reason. And then just did not do well. It was almost like he was exploring, just not growing no matter what. So it could be a good reason for Payne to do this, but... Hmm. There's no guarantee that it's not just, hey, I want to do something different. So here, if family growth flips, I likely get six wood. Or no, sorry, if family growth flips, pain, pain, like, pain gets six wood. I was hoping that Reno would flip. But if Reno flipped, Montu would probably just take the six wood himself. So, yeah, I wasn't really counting that correctly. I was thinking, thinking differently. So five rounds, so I have to get hand plow out by the end of round nine. Something to keep in mind. First move, read stone food here when I can.
So that plus old crofter twice five reed. So I now have enough to build the BMW, but not to eat a reed. And then second action occupation, most likely. Could play piano player here. Yeah, as long as I'm building the BMW, piano player is fine. And Reno hasn't flipped yet, and it looks like I might be fighting for Reno, so no rush on officer. So playing piano player looks okay. Oh no, I lied. I need... Well, I mean, I could take three clay here, but I'd much rather take clay next round. Nice, I get my stable here. So, I, yeah, I wonder if, uh, no, Bar Barbarossa took Bonehead, so Lady of the Manor is in another castle. Um, so this stable actually has to be, I have to be a little careful with where the stable goes. I think what I have to do is just say, I'm not going to actually trigger Animal Breeder all that many times. So just do the vertical setup. Did someone plow? Nobody's plowed yet. Yeah, I don't know why I took the plow one. Mm, yeah, let's just play the piano player here. People are going to be bottom feeding next round, so. Reed, stone, reed, stone, reed, I believe. And then I'm doing clay into reno. Clay into reno, hand plow, or hearth upgrade, or wood cart. Or acorn basket. Or dovetail joints. Any of those are options. I'm not too worried about the uh, joinery being built. If Montu knows about Lady of the Manor, then that's three players at the table. And... Um, you know, pain is not really growing, so I'm not really too worried about pain building the BMW the joinery when he isn't isn't growing. Barbarossa baking here, and then he can um Yeah. Then we might see like take a grain and sow two grain. I think that would be okay. And, you, and then he come, goes into the next round with eight grain. Or two, two, two sown grain fields. Two grain. And totally fed. Yep. That would be good. I think. Montu will... Traveling players... Pain. Who the hell knows what Pain's up to? Oh, apparently Pain cried. I miss that. Pattern maker. Not taking food here, eh? Pretty sure Montu... Unless he has a miner that lets him feed. A miner that lets him eat... Uh, eat food. 
or eat uh, or bake. <laughs> He's changing his mind, yeah. Pain grabbed the three stone. Is he building the stone oven here? Reno stone oven? Let's find out. If he does, then I need to take food. So I need to take the two sheep. Or, or play dovetail joints. Yeah, I could start player dovetail joints. And then first move three sheep into build. Let the wood accumulate ridiculously high. <laughs> Not really. All right. So Payne wanted to get this private oven out. Okay. Was that worth building one stable? Mm, I don't think it was worth building one stable. Uh, who, who knows what Payne's up to? Uh, get the BMW out. Plus read FFF. Crofter. And then I'm eating a, sh the, I, I can decide if I eat a read or not. Mm, do not eat a reed. Actually, mm, yeah, no, I should eat a reed. The only problem with eating the reed is it means I'm, I need somebody to take five food before my second action. But someone's going to take five food, right? Payne's going to take six wood. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I predict. Oh my goodness. Come on, pain. Gonna play a different awk. Oh my goodness. Then builder. So this is his first pick. This is what he's built his whole game around. Passing me, he passed me the stone house combination so that he could take den builder. All right. At least, at least it is very unlikely that he takes Reno with his second act. Oh no, he has to Reno. Oh my goodness. Uh, the problem is I have the actual payoff. Which pain does not. Any player takes three or more food. Okay. Well, I can take four read here or I can take five food. I want to play officer. 
It's what I really want to do. But I'm not going to get Reno second action. Payne's going to Reno second move so that he can grow next round. Oh, man. <laughs> this game really sucks. Oh, this game really sucks. Um, take the four read, I guess. I, I don't even know what to do here. Oh, old crofter. I forgot that I get the read before. Good call, Gray. Thank you. <laughs> You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. I can reno first move. I thought I needed the read. You are you are absolutely right. And I'll play hand plow, I guess. Get it out here. Monty is playing Herdsman. So no officer either way for me. <sighs> okay. Pain is crying again. I'm crying. <laughs> At least I'm in stone. At least I play officer next round. But yeah. I, I, this still feels very, very bad. I guess the four read maybe is better because of a corn basket. One, two, three, four, five. I got to mark the field. Yeah, piano player is not looking too good. Not with the market crier giving people grain to turn into food. Is Payne going to let me have the sheep next round? Payne wants to do his den builder thing, right? He wants to do the den builder thing, so... What, he's going to reno stone oven and then family growth second move? So I get the sheep and play officer. Seems unlikely that I'll get to five fields, especially because I'm waiting on my opponents to start plowing. But to be fair, Lady of the Manor's not even hit the table yet, so there's no guarantee that it actually comes out. So it turns out. Renovating first action wasn't necessarily the right decision. Ah, River Mill. Okay. All right. Well, if you're going to give everyone grain, then at least <laughs> if they're going to use it for food, get them to also give you points at the same time, I suppose. Wait. Wait. But now Payne has to eat like two raw vegetables to grow this round. Oh. Yeah, that, that doesn't seem right to me. 
Having to eat the raw vegetables does not seem right. So he's just not going to grow this round. Like, Payne first picked this Den Builder, and then Pat proceeded to pass me Stonehouse Extension. Like, obviously, Den Builder Officer with the same hand, but, like, pass me Stonehouse Extension. First picked Den Builder in a hand that had Officer in it. I don't know. Is Den Builder better than Officer? Maybe. Maybe it's more flexible. But the, the having to pay grain, I don't know. Like the, the, the big thing about officers is that you get to forego the family growth space, right? Like you don't, you get to ignore it, which is nice. Like you don't have, you can grow no matter what, even if the family growth space is very contested. eating the two raw vegetables here that's what it sounds like he's playing baker's kitchen on family growth has to eat the the vegetables raw in that case Uh, so then I feed two food and a sheep. And F4, K. So altogether I go down three food. And do I eat a reed? Yeah, I eat a reed. Because ideally, I can just get by eating sheep and reed the rest of the game, and I don't have to eat anything else, so that anything else can go into points. Barbershop for Barbarossa. Yeah, seems good, considering how much wood Payne and I are not spending. Which is a lot. Payne and I are spent not spending a lot of wood in between the two of us. But it uh, seems like with two six food actions going all the way around, um, the players who built in grow, grew, and with all the, food, all the food and the wood available, it's like... Payne and I are using too many non-accumulating action spaces, which means Montu and Barbarossa are getting all the accumulating action spaces. Montu in particular. So, that's tough. Uh, yeah, so I'd like to get the three stone here. Three or more food from an accumulation space. So, theoretically... If I could put three food on the board on one space somehow, or uh, let's say Montu uses his farm sparrow 
and he puts it on an accumulating space and then he activates it twice more and keeps putting the one food on that same space or one of the food on that one space then that would activate po a piano player as long as there was three food on it and it was an accumulating space that it was being put onto but yeah barbaros is in a really great spot with his nice points from barbershop really nice uh Riverman. Riverman. Uh, I should add my guest token. Grab the six wood first. Apparently six wood sucks. <laughs> uh, I'll be the social climber, I guess. Wow, it's been a while. Hey, Samfold, thanks for the sub. 17 months, awesome. Thank you so much, Samfold. Yeah, it's been a while. Glad, uh, good to see you. Good to see you. I hope you are doing well. But yeah, thanks so much for the tier one sub and um, congratulations on Fitly Growthing. Um, yeah, not getting a three stone feels bad. So just start playing occupations now or start plowing. Maybe plow first, occupation second. I'll still try, I'll still try to stone house extend, but. Yeah. There's so much wood in this game. There was no temptation for the Lady of the Manor to play it just for the wood, even with the uh, high probability of giving it away. That was just not uh, a thing that's in consideration. Wantu's got drain pond. This game was very plow light. Very plow light, it seems. Although any any wood plow would be exceptional here. Any wood plow would be so good. For how much wood's in the game, any wood plow would be really good. All right, I got to try to get this uh, thing out. Dovetail joints into the joinery. But first, animal breeder and pay a food for a guest token next round. Does animal husbandry worker do anything anymore? It does save me two wood. Okay. Bantu is already committed to the non-animal husbandry worker layout. So the thing about the animal husbandry worker is that it means that animal breeder can only activate once if I'm trying to fence all these stables. But if I think it's very likely that Lady of the Manor is not hitting the table, I don't have to fence all these stables. I could do it upside down and activate animal breeder twice maybe. Or I just don't play Animal Husbandry Worker. Like, that's something I can do as well. Just not play Animal Husbandry Worker. And say paying a food for two wood is not important. And just uh, fence bigger, activate Animal Breeder more times. So 
So I get a stone from Payne's fish grab. And I paid for a guest. I think I just first moved plow. I think that is definitely what I something that I want to keep doing. First move plow as much as I can. What was his first pick minor? What was Payne's first pick minor? Not River Mill. I saw River Mill. I did not see Baker's Kitchen, I don't think. I hope he didn't first pick Baker's Kitchen over Stonehouse Extension. That would make me very sad. Stonehouse Extension just seems like it's so good to take with um, with Remodeler's Husband and Den Builder. Yeah. Certainly, I want to breed cattle here. I definitely want to breed cattle. So I kind of have to decide kind of now or never. Uh, I don't really want to fence 14. Fencing multiple times does not seem that good, though. But fencing 14 also seems bad because I have to take wood again to play dovetail joints. So I think I'm okay with fencing twice. I think fencing twice is something that I'm okay with. So for now, I can just fence like this and, and decide later. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, because if I'm going to do four pastures, then I can do that space. And eat a, a two sheep for two cattle. Last move could be start player if family growth flips and it makes stone house extension very redundant. But start player stone house extent like two stone stone house extension family growth into family growth 13 or plow so 13. Either of those would be pretty good se that would those would be that would be a pretty good sequence if I could do that. Um like, family growth thing with room after playing dovetail joint seems nice. That seems quite nice. Use wall. I assume he means mill. The other thing to do would be to play Acorn Basket here. But it seems like getting two boar should not be that difficult. Montu and Payne both have boar. And neither of them can eat them. So then it's Barbarossa. And I sit in front of him. So And he just played Wolf. <laughs> Alright. Food and a reed to feed four. Read both of these guys. Not putting any food on any grain on the mill until I've got some grain sown. I want to end the game with eight grain for sure. 
definitely want to end the game with eight grain. I type FR. Should do that. I give myself two food from play, pay, paying dovetail joints. Yeah, I did. Good. All right, let's see what this is. Family growth. Okay. No need to play stone. Well, I mean, I could still play stone house extension, but it would just be for the points. It would not be for any other reason. But yeah, getting family growth here is really good. And then I wheel to bore or plow or start player. I probably get one of those three. And I'd be happy with any of them. Pretty sure someone's going to want to take four wood. Barbaros is going to reno first move. Okay. Make sure that he gets a stone oven from pain, I guess. But pain, pain wants to make another room i don't think the stone oven is really in danger does he have something does he have some reason that he needs it like he wants to return it later with an upgrade or he has some need to get to clay yeah i'm not really sure about that one i guess yeah maybe he's looking at pain and thinking pain will build it but pain wants to reno so i don't know i mean maybe he just really wants it for the bake action Maybe. Pain's going to start player. No, no problem. Do not mind that at all. Uh, do we even need these boar? They, they might come back. Yeah, I guess the two boar are just food. They're not really anything else. They're kind of just food. Because I can spend... I'm definitely going to fence one more time. So, Although, to be fair, if I do fence one more time and I fence for Animal Husbandry Worker, then I'm not... Uh, I'm not buying the boar. So there, that is, that is possible. Pain fence is big. So, Barbarossa might fence big. And probably Montu can fence one. Probably. if he, Especially if he has uh, Lady of the Manor in hand. But, without a way to get more fields... Especially if pain family growth here. If pain takes family growth and I get plow so, then, you know, I'm going to be in a good spot for Lady of the Manor. I'm going to have pastures, stables, and be a threat for one of the animal types. I'd be pastures, stables, grain, and 
and be a threat for one of the animal types, which is going to be tough, for, which would be tough when, when not everyone's going to be able to get to five fields. It's going to make it tough. But Montu's got sickle, so I assume Montu's got something here, right? That he's got some way to plow. Maybe we see him day labor last action, and then he's going to start player turn rest plow. That would be pretty good. But if he does that, then he's not fencing one more. So then, then playing animal husbandry worker to get to four pastures, especially if Barbarossa does the big pasture for three. Yeah. Yeah. It's a thing that could happen for sure. I mean, Barbarossa might just take three wood last action here, and then it's kind of a moot point. But Oh, yeah. Yeah, day labor. Yeah, so yeah, he's, he's got turn rest plow or something, it looks like. Barbara's a fireplace to get another field. Okay. I finally have four actions. Hooray! I might want five food traveling players in 14, especially if it comes with a read. What? What? Why is Payne playing backyard well here? Why? <laughs> oh man. Yeah, Payne is just too, truly on the slash random strategies. Yeah. He's true. He's being a true uh, chaotic, chaotic neutral. The chaotic evil pain might be chaotic evil. I think he's chaotic neutral. have to imagine if Monty's got a plow, this is where it comes out, right? Almanac. Hmm. Maybe he's got something like Field Miner, because he does pick up, so he's going to plow, and then he's got Drain Pond. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe Montu's just going to have four fields. He might not have a way to get the fifth field. He might... I'm trying to think about occupations. I really don't think there were any ox that helped you make fields. I don't think. I 
bought the almanac uh, to breed all the animals with um, with Lady of the Manor is nice. That's definitely nice. I get family growth back here, which is awesome. Yeah, Barbarossa does the Fence 13 thing. So two more moves for me. I do need to fence a bunch. Cheap Lord, what does this one do? Convert pairs of goods into the following. Uh-oh. Sheep and cattle into a bunch of points. That's good for Montu, for sure. Um, Payne's playing Reed Nursery. What on family growth? I guess. And then, oh, I should actually build the joinery at some point. <laughs> I should probably do that, right? Why did Payne put Reed Nursery on the board? I'm also thinking about taking the three stone because the three stone probably means that Montu can't get to stone. But Montu also needs reed. Could just grab the vegetable here, maybe. Grab a two point vegetable. Then maybe last move joinery. Three joinery. All right, so Montu can now build the joinery, so I have to build it. Feed seven. I only need to feed seven. Rain to mill and then eat an R to feed seven. So I breed all my animals. And grain on the wall, grain on the mill, not wall, mill. Yep. Then I'm fencing some amount at the end here. Montu's probably well, Montu might have another improvement, but he spent a bunch of he's played a bunch of pretty good improvements. I'm guessing that Montu is just gonna be on Reno Fence. But we might see him go for both.
And I want to pay F for a guest, of course. Plow here. Let's make sure Montu can't get to the fifth field. And Montu can fence one. And if he does, then I play Animal Husbandry Worker, which does give Montu two points, but it gives me two points as well. I don't have to give Montu the points. Yeah. Uh, the only reason to give Montu the points would be to buy another animal with Animal Breeder. Yeah, so I don't have to give Montu the points. Barb's at 44 plus, 48 plus, yeah, 48-ish, I'm at 41, with, so I have a 1, 2, 3, 4 point, uh, minimum, I have a 6 point action, so I'm at 47 plus. So 48 versus 47. Montu's at 41. Montu's at 45 without renovating. So yeah, Montu and Barbarossa are beating me most likely. Because they just don't have enough point actions remaining. I have a 2.3 reed. I have a 2.6 wood. I have my fence action. Yeah, so I guess I only really need to take, I guess I take wood or vegetable for one point with my last move. Yeah, so it looks like it's going to be fairly close, but I'm uh, maybe it's not that close. Maybe Montu's just got so many points from his Sheep Lord, it's not really that close. I don't know, hard to say. Barb's got so for two points. So I want to, I guess he can only get three more points out of the Sheep Lord, right? So if he gets three more points, so he's at plus two from where he is now. Yeah, maybe Barbaros is winning.
I should probably calculate. I, I need to calculate. I need to calculate if... Um, if Barbaros is beating Montu, then I probably am supposed to give Montu the point. The two points. And give, and give myself one extra point. Eat a boar, a sheep, and a cattle. Or seven food, eat a food that puts me at eight. So I actually do have to t eat one food here. But I eat a wood. Yeah, so that puts me at nine. Or at uh, ten or whatever. Yeah, Barbarossa with Cloyster, I think, is winning this. So plus seven, right? So 53, Montu, add 3 here, so it's plus 7, so 54. Okay, yeah, no, so Montu's, Montu's beating Barbarossa, it looks like. Uh, depending on how many points, no, Montu doesn't have to eat any. Well, you know what, I guess converting the 3 sheep, mm, yeah, so if he converts 3, he's costing himself... A cattle or a boar point, right? Yeah, so Barbarossa 54 final. So I think Montu's got 54 beat. Right? Because he's at 51 right now. He can convert three more sheep. So that costs him... So converting the three sheep costs him one point. So that's actually plus two only. So 53. It costs him... Oh, he's got Lord of the Manor here. Ah... Ah, so that is a two-point Lord of the Manor, right? So if Montu's got a two-point Lord of the Manor, I have to calculate what the, your, their final scores are for sure. I have to math here. Montu sending that as his final farm. So 54. Wait, he gave himself three Lord of the Manor points. I only saw 7G Montu. I thought I, I thought I he only had seven grain a minute ago. Oh pain just pain market cried. Oh pain. Uh so then it's definitely not correct to give Montu the points. Husbandry can't fence in 14. Oh! Oh, okay. Oh, so it only fences if you're getting the discount. Ah, okay. It only fences if you do the discount. Interesting. So then I'm eating a food, a grain. I need to get to eight. So food, grain, wood, boar.
Well, uh, it was a very, very strong hand. Um, if Reno came out before Family Growth, I'm pretty sure I'm winning this game. Um, only 49, though. So I do have a lot of points to make up against Montu. Montu's hand is also good. Um, yeah, I do have to make up a lot of points, to be fair. So, poker player was, or piano player was bad. Um, part-time builder was good, but part-time builder was worse given that, uh, Lady of the Manor didn't come out. Animal breeder was bad. It was, it was just bad. It was just a, a two animal. It was paid, like six or seven food for two for two cattle um yeah it was not really that high scoring i i don't actually think this was that high scoring i think this was mostly just uh, yeah uh yeah so i think it i think it there are two things that I need to have. I need to grow earlier. So I definitely need to grow earlier. So if um, if if Renault comes out before family growth, I'm in a much better spot. The, the big problem is that not getting this Stonehouse extension out. Getting this Stonehouse extension out would have made a really big difference. Um, yeah. Um, I don't think Monty did Boar Lord, right? There's, it doesn't, it doesn't seem possible that he could have those numbers. Um, yeah, I think Montu has 1.2 too many. Um... Yeah, so the big takeaway from this one, when you get past Officer and Stonehouse Extension, <laughs> you need Renault to flip early, and it flipped in seven. And honestly, I think I'm still, I, I think my hand enough is good enough. I think my hand is good enough that I can do um, good stuff, even in a late Renault game. The problem was that Payne was also doing... Very, he was overlapping me very heavily in terms of what he was doing, and not not in terms of he what he didn't like take my Reno action or whatever. I mean, he kind of did because he forced me like I didn't get officer out in round eight because he I had to Reno first move, but the but the point being that um, the point being that um, uh. We were both doing non-accumulating actions a bunch. The so like I, I um uh the point being that I I um we were both doing a lot of non-accumulating action spaces, which just let Barbarossa and Montu run away with the game. Because they got too many good stuff. They got too they got uh too much out of it. So 
Yeah. I'm surprised that Animal Husbandry Worker can only fence if you're getting the discount. That's that's surprising to me. I never had considered that. I always just assumed it was securing a fence for me. Interesting. Yeah, interesting. Um, yeah, Pain Market Crying also was very good for, for both Montu. Uh, it was really good for Montu's Lord of the Manor. Yeah, it was so good for Montu's Lord of the Manor. And um, and Barbarossa just had like a generally if Barbarossa they they just took the big resource piles and just won with them. Like it turns out, Payne and I not taking the big resource piles was bad. <laughs> that's that's really what it comes down to. Payne and I just didn't take the big resource piles, and that was bad. Um, yep. So that's unfortunate. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I'm going to look at Payne's opening pack. I, I think it, I would have a really hard time. I would have a hard time, yeah, like taking one and passing the other. Like, I, I don't know if I could have done that. You took dent, so yeah, you took dent. So, is there anything you can take except for dent? So, the first question is: Is there something other than dent builder officer you can justify taking? Um, because like, I guess you don't know for sure that the officer is gonna do a two room, like stay on two rooms, but it just seems like those two players are gonna fight with each other pretty directly. I guess the I guess the difference with dent builder. Is that den builder can build a wood room and still grow into the den builder, so maybe at some point Payne was just supposed to build a wood room. Like when there was a six, like when there was six wood on the board, he could have built. He could have taken six wood instead of having played um, whatever the occupation that he played. Right, he could have just taken six wood and and built at some point. Um, how good is Den Builder? Uh, having to pay a grain is a pretty significant cost, but if you have an easy way to get grain, then it's obviously not bad. Uh, yeah, yeah, like pain. Like I, I obviously have a very good reason to go to to stay on two room stone house, but pain doesn't really, and I think pain refusing to take wood just kind of handed you you and Barbarossa the game. And made it so that we were... And unfortunately, like, then I have to first move Reno in 8, which means I don't get my officer out, which costs me a full action. And I have Stone... And I have Stonehouse... Ex... He could have taken 6 wood. Exactly. He could have taken 6 wood. And I have Stonehouse extension in hand that I could never get out because I just grew way too late, unfortunately. Um... Yeah. And they took Market Crier over Animal Breeder. So I think there's just no way that's correct. Yeah, there's just not really any point looking at Payne's draft. Because he's he's just literally chaotic neutral. There's just not a lot of point. <laughs> like, I don't think you can really justify taking Market Crier here. Market Crier, you just give you just give too many points to your opponents. Even with the Sten Builder, like it's better just it's not worth playing market crier and then crying like just take the one grain or draft some other way of getting grain which i think there was probably some other way of getting grain in the miners like if you want to do this den builder thing then i would have been more interested in like the green and i would have done something like maybe a take one grain and then start player get a vegetable and you could have had a grain vegetable game maybe something like that Yeah, or just take like fertile soil and use that as a sow that also gets you on start player. I guess I can look at my draft. But I don't think I'm going to want to change anything about it.
Bonehead, 4.5. Hmm. I mean, it's a, it's it's one more wood than Wood Collector. But 4.5 seems high. I guess you can spam cards to get the wood faster. I would not have guessed that it was that much better than Wood Collector. I'm, I'm surprised to see that it's that high. I wonder if there's something to do with the... Maybe Bonehead is really good in AG2 and there's something like that going on in the stats. Yeah, this, this part-time builder ended up not being very good for me. Um, I maybe should just not have played it because it really screwed up my animal breeder. But I didn't have actions in this game to trigger animal breeder a bunch of times anyways. I mean, I kind of already knew that I was going to use, use it only three times at most. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else here for me. Uh, yeah, yeah, I knew Excavator was in the game, so I thought Part-Time Builder was very likely to be four stables, and that's obviously very good in a Lady of the Manor game. Hey, um, you got screwed, did you? I mean, you didn't get your fifth field, but that's because you were taking wood, and, like you were taking six wood instead of first move plowing, like, <laughs> that's, that's not unreasonable. Um, that's, that's, I would not say that's getting screwed, that's yeah um guys that's gonna be all for me for today thank you very much for watching hope you guys have enjoyed this little video i will be back tomorrow similar time we'll see you then uh thanks so much to sam folds for the prime sub really appreciate it yeah we'll see you guys tomorrow